Hey, you! I've been waiting all day to hear from you. How was your pregnancy checkup? Hi, Mom. I'm sorry. I just came back from the hospital and fell asleep. The doctor said that the baby was healthy. Stop talking nonsense! You know what I want to know. Hmm. Seeing how you avoided me like that, I knew it immediately. It's a girl again, isn't it? Mom, regardless of the gender of the child, it is still my child and your grandchild. I just accept that my grandchild is a boy. How many times do I have to say it again? You are such a bad wife. Your only duty is to deliver a son for my family, but you can't do it. This is already the second daughter. What are you going to do? But mom, I can't decide the gender of the baby. And whether the baby is a boy or a girl, it's still your grandchild. This time, gender is not a big matter anymore. What did you say? You mean I'm old-fashioned, backwards thinking, and sexist, right? No, mom. I never think that. I'm so sorry. But my husband doesn't need a son. He never talked about it. He is my son. What I want is what he wants. My son is the main heir of this big family. He will never have a daughter. I don't want to say more. Get yourself an abortion. You can take advantage of this while your husband is on a business trip and abort it. And then it can be said that you fell down the stairs or hit a car or something. I will testify for you. What? No, Mom. Please don't force me to do that. Only two more months until the baby is born. I cannot kill it. Mom, I'm begging you. <laughs> don't do this to your grandchildren. You have forgotten your place. You have no decision-making power here. I didn't like you from the beginning. I don't understand how you manipulated my son to make him insist on marrying you. Mom, I beg you. Please pity me. Pity your grandchild. Don't make me have an abortion, please. You can treat me as badly as you want. But please, don't harm my kids. Hey, have I treated you so badly? I don't remember it that way. I have always cared for and pampered you and your stinky little daughter. You are so ungrateful to say that to me. I've given you two a place to eat and sleep. That's already too kind to useless people like this. I'm so grateful to you, but... But what? Are you expressing your dissatisfaction to me? Don't I just ask you to do all the housework? You don't have a job. You don't make any money. Shouldn't you do something like that to repay me? No, no. I never mean that. Or do you still think it was because I tripped your foot and caused you to fall so you had to go to the hospital for a checkup? I already made it clear. My feet were left there before because you walked carelessly and got caught on your own. I'm so sorry. It was my fault. How dare you say I treat your daughter horribly? You mean I abused her? Mom, I don't want to blame you for anything. It's just... My daughter told me that sometimes you would spank her just because she said she liked having a sister. I also saw some bruises, like being beaten with a whip on her legs after she returned from your house. Do you know anything about this? Oh, you cannot believe a single word of the child. Maybe she was so playful that she fell or fought over toys with her friends in class. And she was afraid of being scolded by you. And she made up stories like that. You are a mother. You must care for her, not ask me like this. Yes, Mom, I understood. I will be careful. But the little girl also said you never hug, kiss, or let her sit on your lap. She admires the other children who can play with their grandmother and always asks why you don't like her. I'm afraid that if it continues like this, she will be psychologically affected. So what? After all, she's just a useless girl like her mother. Later... She will only get married and have nothing to do with this family anymore. So why should I waste my feelings on her? Mom, please don't use that word in front of my daughter. And please don't say negative things about the birth parent in front of the kids. If she hears it, she'll think it's all my fault. <laughs> like it or not, that's the truth. No one in this house welcomed its birth. 
If you had listened to my advice about the abortion, she wouldn't have suffered this much. All because you were determined to give birth to it. It's all your fault. Please grant me your forgiveness, but I have suffered enough. From now on, I will no longer tolerate your harsh words towards the children and me. How dare you? Don't have an abortion. I'll kick you three out of this house. This family doesn't have excess money to feed parasites like you. So now, you must have an abortion and give me a grandson. Or you bring your ugly daughter out of this house right now. With all due my last respect, Mom, I will never kill my child. You don't have the right to kick me out of this house. My husband and I are not divorced, and we do not intend to be. So technically, this house is half mine, and he won't allow you to do this. Aren't you afraid he'll find out what you did to me and get mad at you? Are you threatening me? Ha! Huh, you are very audacious to say that. Don't you keep pretending to be a meekness and forebear daughter-in-law anymore? This is your real face, isn't it? I have always been patient with you until now, not because I pretend, but because I respect you as my husband's mother. But it's fine if you criticize me, but if you want to harm my babies, I definitely can't let it go. Huh? Then what are you going to do with me? Hit me? Scorn me? Or sue me? Do what you're gonna do. No, Mom. I won't act like that. I just need you to let us live together and never come to my house again. You are not entitled to give me orders. I didn't order you. I just wanted to have a deal with you. Deal with me? Do you have anything worth trading with me? I have your son's belief and love. You know that your son always trusts and loves me. If I showed him the messages you forced me to have an abortion, we all know how he would react. Hillary, you are being ridiculous. You should better not let my son know about this. Fine, I let you give birth to that baby and never touch her again. I will make you have to regret this. Yes, thank you, Mom. I hope you can keep the deal. I promise that no one will ever know about this conversation today. Hey, Hillary. I heard that you gave birth yesterday, right? How do you feel now? Oh, hi, Mom. Luckily, I had a healthy delivery. The new baby is very cute. Oh, that sounds great. So, when will you go home from the hospital? I think I will come home in the next two days. I'm not assured about my daughter. I don't know if she can get herself get ready for the first day of school next week. Oh, you don't have to worry about it. It would be best to take care for your health and the newborn better. Your husband told me that the newborn is not gaining enough weight, so you should stay at the hospital more a few days to monitor her health. Um, Mom, actually, the newborn is... Oh, don't worry about the firstborn. I will take care of her for you in the next two days. Really? It's so surprising. I, I think you've changed. Yeah, Hillary, I think you said it right. Even if the babies are boys or girls, they are still my grandchildren, and I should care about them. I apologize for being so harsh on you earlier. I know you will not tolerate my mistakes, but I hope you will allow me to make up for you and the babies. Oh, Mom, I am very happy to hear that. My daughter will be very excited when she hears about this. Of course I forgive you. I have always wished that we could become a real family. Thank you, my lovely daughter-in-law. Yeah, it's the perfect time to build a true family. I am also very sorry for getting angry and saying bad words to you the other day. I hope you didn't take it seriously. It's okay. I was the one who was wrong first. I was very sorry for forcing you to have an abortion. I really can't believe I would say such cruel words. Fortunately, you did not listen to me. It's all over, Mom. You don't have to feel guilty about it anymore. I'm so curious. What could make you change your mind? <laughs> I was just thinking about what you said. Indeed, I have not loved my beautiful grandchild before, and I want to make up for that time for her. Besides, I also don't want my son to be bothered when there are conflicts between the two women he loves the most. 
I believe you don't want that either? Yes, Mum. I believe we can live together harmoniously. Well, I understand. You've just had a baby, so I'm sure you're tired. You just have to rest and remember to stay in the hospital to monitor your health for a few more days. I'll come and take my grandchild to my home. Don't worry. Yes. Thank you, Mom. Hi, Mom. The baby and I had just got home. Thank you for taking care of my daughter these days. Can I ask you to drive her to my home, please? My husband went to the company for urgent issues and I couldn't pick her up yet. Huh? What are you talking about? Your daughter hasn't been in my house for two days. I don't know where she is. What? Mom, but you said you would take care of her when I stayed at the hospital. Why don't you know where she is? Besides, it's been two days. Why didn't you tell me sooner? Hey, I said I would take care of her, but I said I would only take care of her for two days. That's because you stayed in the hospital for so long without hiring a babysitter. Why didn't you care about her? Why blame me? How, how can you completely shirk any responsibility like this? It was you. You told me to stay at the hospital longer. <laughs> oh no, my poor daughter. I need to call the police. I need to call my husband. <laughs> hey, calm down. He said he would be home in a minute. My daughter is missing. Should I calm down? <laughs> no, my daughter. <laughs> Why do you have to waste time, effort, and money to find her? Who can be sure she is still alive? Gloria, how can you talk like that? You're such a cold-blooded person. If anything happens to my daughter, I will never forgive you. I will curse you to death. How dare you call my name like that? You seem like you're from a bad upbringing. What can I expect from a stupid poor girl that a single mother raised? Besides, she just got lost while playing on her own. Didn't I purposely throw her out on the street and you told me I was cold-blooded? So why didn't you tell me earlier? Because you didn't ask me about her. What kind of mother would leave her child to someone else to look after and then ignore it? The kid got lost. That's all because of you. Yeah, you're right. The child is missing because of me. Because I trusted you so much that I gave her to you. Hey, Hillary, calm down. This is not a time to blame one another. Yes, I need to find her. Where did the last time you met her? No, Hillary, I didn't mean you should go to find her. It's just that we can't tell if she's starved somewhere or she's been sold. We shouldn't waste our time looking for it. You should give birth to a new one. I have a feeling you will have a son this time. Shut up. How dare you talk about my daughter like that? Don't you have the slightest concern for my daughter? How could you say such scary things? Even now? Do you still want to have a grandson? Didn't you promise not to harm the children and let us live in peace? And I still kept my promise. I promise not to touch you and the newborn baby. Look, you two are still healthy. You, you are so shameless. You clearly said that you wanted to live peacefully with me, didn't you? Why are you doing this? <laughs> you are such an idiot. Do you think I'll ever humbly apologize to you? I just did this so you can relax your vigilance and let me pick her up. If she disappears, you'll have to have another baby and I'll have a chance to have a grandson. What? That's all your plan? Just to have a grandson? It is really scary, Gloria. So what? You can't do anything now. Be obedient and give birth to another child. 
My grandson can't wait anymore. My husband has already come home. Wait. Oh my god. That's my daughter. <laughs> He brought our daughter come home. What? It can't be true. I dropped her far away from home. Gloria, I really wanted to live in harmony with you. But now it seems that will never happen. My husband said he knew everything you did. No! You are such a liar! You promised not to let him know anything! Yes, I still keep the promise. I am not the one who told him about this. My daughter did. What? How could he find her? I was careful! It turns out he came to the company to pick our daughter up. She said that yesterday you drove her to a park that was very far away from my house and dragged her out of the car and drove away. She cried and called out your name, but you didn't stop. She was very scary. But fortunately, a colleague of my husband's walking in the park recognized her and took her home to care for her. No! No! It's impossible! My husband's phone was run out of batteries yesterday, so the co-worker couldn't call him until this morning. As soon as he arrived at the company, my daughter told him everything. He is furious now. You! It was because of you! Since you appeared, my obedient son has completely changed. If it weren't for you giving birth to two daughters, I wouldn't have come to this step. Gloria, you're so obsessive about it. Besides, I never said that the newborn is a girl. What? Really? You mean that the newborn is a boy? Do I have a grandson? Oh my god. It's unbelievable. Why didn't you tell me sooner? I wouldn't have treated you so harshly if I had known this. Oh, my beloved daughter-in-law. Yes, Gloria. My newborn child is a boy. But he is no longer your grandson anymore. What are you talking about? Of course I'm his grandmother. No, Gloria. My husband and I have decided to never allow you to come near, touch, talk to, or even look at our children again. We cannot let our children come into contact with a cruel, autocratic, sexist person like you. No. No way. You can't do that. You're lying. My son will never do this to me. Actually, this is his decision first. You should feel lucky that my daughter didn't get hurt. We would have sued her for child abuse if she was in pain. No, Hillary. Please. Why can't I text my son anymore? He has blocked you already. And now, it is my turn. No. No, please, Hillary. I'm really sorry. Hillary, from the bottom of my heart, I am so sorry. Please let me see my grandson. I promise not to harm you or the kids anymore. Please forgive me. After that, my mother-in-law came to the house to meet and apologize to us. But my husband refused to meet her face to face and sent her away. She cried and begged me to help. But honestly, I couldn't forgive what she did to the kids and me. My husband decided to cut ties with her and move to another place. I heard that when she heard that we were moving, she went to our friend's house to ask for our new location, but no one would tell her. Now I am very happy with my fulfilling life. My husband still loves me and the kids very much. Even though it was a bit difficult at first, we overcame it and are still together.